The integration between Google Meet and Google Classroom makes it pretty easy to set up a virtual meeting link for your students. But what if you need more than one link for your class? That's the problem we're going to tackle today. Hi friends, my name is John Silwash. I help teachers and students use Google products in the classroom. Creating a Google Meet link inside of Google Classroom is super easy to do. Right here in Google Classroom, you're just going to look for this section that says Generate Meet Link, and literally all you have to do is click it. But that's not the problem. The problem is, what if you need more than one link? Now, this is a pretty common situation, especially for elementary teachers. For example, if you have multiple reading groups and you have a co-teacher and you want to send some students with uh, the other teacher to do some reading and you'll work with another group, you need two different meet links in order to do that. If you want to do project groups at the high school level or if you're a specials teacher, if you teach art, music, computers, and you want to provide uh, the gen ed teacher a link to your class, how do you do that? You can't have multiple meet links over there on the sidebar in Google Classroom. However, there is a fix and that is what we're going to look at. We've already generated one meet link and what we're going to do is click the snowman right next to the Google Meet icon and say copy link. Now, you can't have multiple links here on the sidebar on Google Classroom. You can, however, put multiple links on the classwork page. So we copied the link and I'm going to go ahead and create, you really can do anything you want. Um, this is not an assignment, so I'm going to just create, create a material link and we'll call this um, reading group three. And then I'm going to click on the icon for link and paste that Google Meet link in there. Um, now, I have a topic in Google Classroom called Meet Links, and I'm going to go ahead and for now and just save that as a draft. To create your second or third Meet Link, we're going to go back to the stream. We're going to manage the link, click Reset. And so you guys just have to look at the end. So every Meet Link has um, these letters at the end. So right now we're FQK. I'm going to reset this. It's going to remove that Meet Link and we're going to copy it again. Come back to the classwork page, create another material post. We'll call this reading group <coughs> four. Paste that in. Now let's take a look at our link. You'll notice that it has a different ending, F-U-E, so that is a different meet link. And I'll save that as a draft for now as well. So it's technically possible to have an unlimited amount of meet links inside of Google Classroom. Resetting the link does not disable the old links. They're all still uh, available as long as a student has access to click on them. Now, there are some pretty important reasons that you should generate your Meet links through Google Classroom. The first is that meeting access is tied to your class roster. Only students who are on your roster who are verified students will be able to join your meeting. The second benefit that you'll get is that if you have any co-teachers, which is probably the reason you need multiple Meet links, co-teachers are automatically made co-meeting moderators for all of your meeting links. If you generate your meet links outside of Google Classroom through like Google Calendar, Gmail, or directly through Google Meet, you won't have that benefit and you'll need to manually add your co-teachers for every single link, which is uh, annoying. The third benefit of uh, generating your meet links through Google Classroom is it does enable the waiting room. So if students click any of these links and a teacher is not present, the meeting will open, but it will say waiting for teacher. They're not able to interact through chat. You can't really do anything until you or one of your co-teachers joins the meeting and officially starts the class. I would love to know why you need multiple meet links in your classroom. Every teacher has a different situation, and so uh, leave me a comment and uh, explain 
how you're using multiple meet links. It'll probably be interesting for other teachers uh, to read your situation. I have a few final tips for you for managing these multiple meet links. Now you can see here in Google Classroom that I've got a lot of different meet links. I mean, this is pretty extreme. I hope that no teacher would ever need this many uh, meet links. Now this is an interesting one. Let me uh, open this up a little bit so you can see it. Um, I've only shared these meet links with the students in these groups. And you can see right here on the assignment that only three students have access to this uh, link. And this is done using the student selector. So when you open up, um, any assignment or any announcement, you know, over on the right side, you'll get this drop down which lists all of your students. So if you have special project groups, reading groups, math groups, you can put the students in the appropriate group, give them access to their special link uh, for you to work with them or a co-teacher or special education teacher. Um, the students only see the link that's been assigned to them. So you'll see all the links, but they'll only see the ones uh, that they have access to. There's one final tip that uh, is pretty important to avoid confusion, and that is once all of your meet links are established, once you have them all in here, I would recommend going back to the stream. Um, and right here, by default, this link is visible to students. Now, that's just going to cause a lot of confusion. You really don't want meet links in multiple places. So we're going to click on the snowman. We're going to go to manage and we are going to disable uh, the visibility to students. So this will not be visible to students. They will not see it here. Anytime they need to join a meeting, they're gonna head over to the Classwork page and find those links wherever you have posted them. Well, now that you know how to post multiple Meet links in Google Classroom, you might be interested in some activities that are specifically designed to work well inside of Google Meet. Check out this next video with five engaging lessons that you can use inside of Google Meet for your next virtual lesson.